Welcome back. Today I got an interesting video for you. But before, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's get into it. A popular musician and YouTuber from the UK, known as Young Philly, has been extradited from Queensland to WA, accused of serious sexual assault allegations following an incident in Perth. That's right, Lara, and it's serious. He's facing four counts of sexual penetration without consent, three counts of assault occasioning bodily harm, and one count of impeding a person's normal breathing or circulation. Detectives say the 29-year-old man sexually assaulted a woman in her 20s in his Perth hotel room after he performed an event in Hillary's on Saturday, September 28. The man, a well-known UK DJ, Andre Felipe Valencia Barrentos, also known as Young Philly, was arrested in Brisbane and taken to Perth overnight under police guard. He'll face Perth Magistrates Court today and Lara detectives are calling for anyone with further information about this incident or other incidents to call Crime Stoppers. Young Philly, do you have a message to your fans? Now's your opportunity to say something. Young Philly is no stranger to being on camera today, trying to avoid it. Young Philly, do you have a message to your fans? Now's your opportunity to say something. The UK rapper required to check in at Northbridge Police Station every day as part of strict bail conditions. Young Philly, do you have anything to say about these charges? Young Philly, what really happened in that hotel room? What are they going to think of this? Philly accused of raping, assaulting and choking a woman in a hotel room after his Bar One show in Hillary's last month. Numerous brands, including Heinz and ASOS, appearing to remove content featuring young Philly. His new cooking series with the English Football Association also privated. Clothing brand Perplex deleting their Philly collaboration. And welcome to season seven of Chef Asylum! Yeah! The rapper also a regular guest on the Foot Asylum YouTube channel. Foot Asylum telling the BBC, in light of these serious charges, we are suspending our contract with Young Philly with immediate effect. Young Philly has had to surrender his passport as part of his bail, unable to leave WA. He's also had to put up a $100,000 surety, isn't allowed to talk about the charges online or enter a licensed venue. Now trying to lay low until his next court appearance in December. Do you have a message for your fans at all? Now's your opportunity to say something. Amber Wilkinson, Nine News. It's been all over the internet about young Philly being arrested and charged for some very heavy allegations that has pretty much buried his career. Even though these are allegations, even though we don't know if he's guilty or not, his career is ruined. There's no coming back from this. Whatever he's going to do moving forward is never going to be what he was doing before he got arrested. And it's a lot to take in for everyone that doesn't really reside in the UK. Young Philly is very well known in the UK. He's an influencer. He's been a YouTuber for years. This is who he is. He's part of the beta squad. It took a lot of people by surprise that this is happening to him. But also a lot of females have been bringing up a lot of past videos of him acting suspicious as they were putting it out to be. What do I think? Well, when it comes to heavy allegations like this, it's hard to say if they did it or didn't do it as no one actually knows the truth. Does he struck me the type of guy to do it? No. Is he a beta? Yes. Is he a simp? Yes. Which is why they're part of the beta squad. As a lot of their group, including Young Philly, they, especially Young Philly, his character on YouTube and the, as an influencer is the guy who tries to be the gallist, the guy that likes girls, you know, the, the dog, you know, when they say men are all dogs, he acts like it, but I wouldn't exactly say that somehow now makes him the type of guy to be charged for these type of allegations. I couldn't say yeah because that's his character and that's the person that we see and he portrays I can't pinpoint and say yeah this is the person that will do it but I also can say he isn't the person that will do it because I don't know him and there is CCT um, camera evidence marks 
which no one has seen. So there's a lot going on that no one actually knows. And until or if it will be revealed, it's all speculation from here. People are guessing and people are trying to figure out, did he do it or did he not? But I do also want to play one clip, don't know if it's true or not, about who the chick is and how it's false. So before I go further into this video, I'd just like to take this time to apologise to young Philly, to apologise to any of his friends, his family, anyone associated with him. And I would also like to apologise to any rappers in the UK who has seen this and has been affected and now feel some type of way about us females in Australia. I deeply apologise. We are not like that. There are certain individuals that like to take things too far and it gives the rest of us a bad name. I truly and sincerely apologise to all of you guys and on behalf of everyone in Australia that has sense, we are sorry. So the media is concealing who this female is. So everyone's like, who is this mysterious female? This mysterious female is Miss Emma Burns, the one and only stripper and sex worker. Round of applause for Miss Emma Burns. Yasharmuta. So... Why am I so annoyed? It's because Emma Burns' friends have come out and they have exposed her. Emma went to the hotel with young Philly and they both had a mutual agreement. When you have a mutual agreement, babes, it's consensual. So there's no rape there. It is consensual. Yes, if they, you know, take it a bit further and stuff, then, okay, yeah, it is a bit too much and charges can be pressed. But it was a mutual agreement. Emma Burns had then texted her friends and said one of her friends, sorry, and told her friend how much of a good time she really had and that she was ready to go home. Could her friend book her an Uber? Remember that her friend should book her the Uber, but she's a stripper. Please remember these two things, okay? Because we're going to be very logic here. Her friend should book her the Uber. When her friend was going to book her the Uber, she then told her friend, oh, actually, I don't need it anymore. That doesn't sound like someone who's being sexually assaulted, Emma. That sounds like someone who's having a goddamn good time. A goddamn good time. Because if you were being sexually assaulted, you are in a hotel where there are hundreds of people on the same level. You could scream. You could text a friend because it seems your friend was working really fine, Miss Mams. You could run down to reception and tell reception to call the police if your life was at any day was in sorry any danger or there was any threat of your safety those are three things you could have done screaming would have probably been the best one because i can guarantee you there would have been someone next door because we know how hotels in australia is booked packed and busy okay emma you are a sex worker you are also a stripper there is nothing wrong with that because if i could shake my ass and get a little coin i will too so I am not bashing you for that in any way, shape or form, Emma. But it's pretty obvious your stripping career isn't taking you anywhere. The fact that you have to ask your friend to book you an Uber. Now, WA, I'm not from WA, but currently I am in Western Australia. Western Australia is not like other states in Australia. Example, Sydney. To get a 30-minute ride on an Uber could cost you about $80. In Western Australia, when I do book Ubers, somewhere that's 30 minutes away, it can cost me $20, $15 to $20. An Uber is not that expensive. So clearly, sweetheart, your stripping career isn't going the way you thought it would go. So because it's not going that way, you now want to use Young Philly for funds and you knew what you were doing but you're not going to get away lightly with this one emma burns has also done this to another rapper before sorry she has tried to do this to another rapper i don't really i don't know if he's a rapper or a musician bryson tiller tyler i, I don't really know who he is but she has tried to do this to someone else before and it was unsuccessful but now she thinks she has hit the jackpot with Young Philly. So everyone going around the media talking about this Young Philly, Young Philly, Young Philly, they need to stop. They need to stop because this guy is genuinely innocent. Her friends have come out and said what she did. She knew what she was doing. 
So I understand people are like, oh, you know, don't victim shame, don't victim blame. As someone who has been through something like that myself as a child, I will never sit there and back the predator ever. But this generation, you guys take it too far with, you have to believe the females. Because of that, you, you know, that, that saying that you guys are putting out there that you have to believe the female, females are taking the piss and innocent men are being blamed for things that they genuinely have not done. Now, people are going to say, oh, but what about the assault charges? Let's be for real. Those assault charges came from him choking her. We are all grown on this app. Well, I hope we are all grown. Some females, including myself, and I'm sure some of you guys watching this, we get choked during sex. We get some other foul things during sex. We may not think it's foul. We find it attractive. Some other people are not necessarily into those things. Emma is clearly into that. But now it's become an issue. This is wrong. You guys need to stop enabling females who think it's okay to ruin people's lives. It is not okay. You knew the agreement when you were going into that hotel. You knew what you were there to do. You knew the man didn't want anything with you after. How is it possible that he would want anything after that? He is from the United Kingdom. He is, was here to perform and go back to his everyday life. But instead, you have ruined that for him. I'm not saying Young Philly is a broke person. I don't know what his funds are like. Now he's stuck in a country that's foreign to him till December. He has to pay for accommodation. He has to pay a lot of things. When you're a foreigner in a country, it can be expensive. He's out of pocket because of you. Now he has legal fees to pay for. That's not fair. And we should not be enabling females that do this. And these other TikTokers that are on live bashing this man, that's not right. That's not right. That is wrong. And you are foul. That is wrong. I'm not saying because she's a sex worker and she's a stripper that, oh, you know, like, yeah, it can possibly happen. Of course it can happen. Just because someone's a, you know, a sex worker and a stripper, it doesn't mean that they can't be assaulted. They, of course, can be, uh, like, sexually assaulted. But when you consent to something and you and someone have agreed to it and you guys have done just as what you guys have agreed to, it is not sexual assault, Emma Burns. So this needs to stop. I don't know who Young Philly is. If you ask me, name one Philly song, I couldn't even tell you. I'll probably sing something else from the UK. I don't know Young Philly. But free Young Philly and Australia, you guys need to get it the fuck together. Because this is wrong. This is foul. Now, we wonder why a lot of musicians don't want to come here. We wonder why. We wonder why when David O came here, he was kicking a certain nationality of people out of his boots is because these people get paranoid. Now, good luck to people wanting to come here for Promised Land next year. Now you guys wonder why your favorite celebrities are so stuck up. It's because of people like Emma Burns. We need to get it together. This is wrong, what's happening to this man. And watching his name get dragged through the mud on TikTok is disgusting. And for you, for you people that think it's okay, get it together. If you see a photo of Emma, I'm not even being rude. Me, I'm not a 10 out of 10 myself. I'm probably a 1 out of 10. And it's okay. I'm fine with that. Young Philly, not the most attractive himself, but not a bad looking person, but Emma. Emma, you long titty ding back, water built buffalo, bad sloppy body built girl. You. <laughs> Babes, get it together. Get it the F together because your own friends are not supporting the rubbish and the nonsense you are doing. You are foul. You are foul and you should be ashamed of yourself. Go back to stripping on the pole and actually do something. Do a little trick or two to make some money, but tra like, not, not trapping, not trapping is not the word, but lying on an innocent black man, bitch or foul.
Everyone, I've had the reports coming out of Australia. Um, whilst I understand many of you want my reaction on it, um, as this is an ongoing court case, I hope you guys can understand that I can't and won't be commenting on it publicly. Um, so, yeah, I've just come on here to basically let you know the reasons as to why I can't. Love. Do I believe this? I can't tell you I do or I don't. As I said, there's a lot of speculation going on. But what I will say about this, I think it's important for men in general to really look at this and learn from this especially now in 2024 a lot of times when people men in particular become influencers affluent and have money the first thing that i've seen no offense is they go out after women they go out after females in particular the tens the nines the eights it's all about how many females you can attract how many females want you and how many females are in your dms how many females you slept with to somehow accumulate the type of quality man you are what does this have to do with young philly everything it's quite telling that young philly whether he did it or not his career is over based off a female based off what he did in that hotel room we really have to look at that his career is buried quicker than noah clark as his career didn't even start yet it just begun who is noah clark everyone knows noah clark in the uk he was a movie producer along those lines an actor as well who also found himself in the same predicament although he wasn't charged he didn't go to prison it was all just allegations that was broadcasted on newspapers and let me tell you something his career has never recovered ever since even though all the movies he produced all the movies he acted in was a hit everyone was watching it in the uk everyone in that time so you can imagine how that just turned in a split of a second He's now living like everybody else. You go on his Instagram, nothing is happening for him. No new jobs, no new opportunities, no movies. He's not seen on TV. And the only time you see him on YouTube is him talking about how his career ended. Look, the times change. People change. No matter how many times you're told you never really get it when you're young, but you learn. People that were so important in your life, for whatever reason, disappear and new people take their place. You know, it's weird how through all of that you can do this one thing that people think defines what you're about. And it doesn't matter if you're sorry. It doesn't even matter if you embrace it as a part of who you are. No matter how much you try to move on. No matter how much you try to evolve, no matter how much you try to dull the memory of it or explain to people that you've improved as a person who was trying to drag you back in. And I remember what I said. I remember I said, never fuck with a guy who ain't got nothing to lose, but I was wrong. Because the only person more dangerous than someone with nothing to lose Someone who stands to lose everything. Now let's look at young Philly, who actually had a successful career, an affluent man, working with major brands. So successful, even though there are people in America and other places in the country that don't know him, because of his successful career, it's being spoken about by everyone who don't even know him. And that's the saddest part, because now we're talking about how his career has ended. Based off what? A female? One night. It took one night with a female. Let that sink in. Everyone wants to be that guy. Everyone wants to be the guy that can attract how many females? 200 females. Sleep with how many females? I'm the quality man. I'm the 10. Until she brings you down. Like Johnny Depp. And he's a whole white man. My point is men have to be careful be careful with who you choose to sleep with who you choose to be around with and don't think that your money is so long 
that you ain't gonna get caught up with some ish and i hate to say it, young philly got caught up with it and i just want to say one more thing look at the difference between him and his partner his closest friend best friend or someone that he works with chunks that people also know in the uk he's a married man he's not in this mess and i know married men get into messes as well but not like this either way men have to start making better choices for themselves and i'm talking about in general because this generally does happen like jonathan mayers it's happening when will men begin to actually make better choices i'm your hostess for minute princess these are my last thoughts this doesn't just include men who are affluent and influencers there are average men out there that also are accused falsely of SA. I'm not saying this is young Philly's case, I'm just talking about in general once again. That this can happen to anyone and it has happened to everyday people. And they've lost their jobs, they've been traumatized, gone to prison, gone to jail. So don't just look at it as oh because he's a young successful man, no. You as a man every day you can also be accused of such allegations. We want to talk about how females are this and that, but yet men still choose to be around these females, still choose just to smash these females because they're smashable until they turn around and do something as heavy as this, accuse you of something heavy as this. It's dangerous out here. That's all I'm saying. Let me know what you think. I would also like to give a very big thank you to Hoofman Jagan for the £10 super chat. Thank you so much. I know I haven't been posting as much, but the fact that you're still here, still watching, I do appreciate the support. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.